will call to order the meeting of the Ellsville Planning Commission for Thursday, November 2nd, 2023. Um, Ryan, would you lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance? of the United States of America, and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. If I sound like a teenage boy at some point, my allergies are acting up. Uh, roll call, please. David Here. Dan Swafford. Here. Steve Hale. Here. Sandra Hash. Here. Pamela Samples. Here. Ryan Skaggs. Here. Pat Wazalowski. Here. First item on our agenda is approval of the minutes for October 5th, 2023. So moved. Second. We have a motion and a second. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? <clears throat> motion carries. Monthly conflict of interest statement. I seriously doubt there's going to be one of those. Um, old business is update on preliminary plan approval. You missed minutes, or the meeting dates. Oh, okay. Approval of meeting dates. So before you use the calendar for 2024, we meet the first Thursday of every month at six o'clock unless there's an asterisk by the date, which means there's a holiday, or the holiday has caused me to move him back um, a week or so, like July 4th on a Thursday, so we're having the meeting July 11th, but that only gave like three weeks before the August plan commission date, so I moved the August plan commission date back one week. And the same with January 11th, because of the Christmas and New Year holidays, I moved it back a week. And um, those are the only dates that have been adjusted. So what I'm asking for is approval of the meeting dates for 2024. Do we have a motion? Motion to approve. Second. We have a motion and a second. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Okay, now old business. <laughs> Update on preliminary plan approval for PC 23-16. The last plan commission meeting, um, EDD Self Storage LLC um, had petitioned the plan commission for a subdivision of his storage unit pro property located on State Road 46 next mm -hmm. to the Ellsville Fire Station. The plan commission voted to approve the petition only on the condition that Mr. Duncan agree to sign some commitments restricting the uh, ability to run or allow retail businesses to operate out of storage units. Mr. Duncan did not attend the last meeting. He did um, come to the desk here with Denise and me shortly after the meeting. He looked at the commitments. He declined to sign them. The business was sold on October 10th, 2023 to another entity. So there is nothing for the plan commission to do. Uh, the point is moot. The petition has effectively been denied because he didn't uh, sign the commitments. So if the new owner wants to subdivide, the new owner will have to file a petition, pay the application fee, and come back before the plan commission. Anybody have any questions, comments? And as a side note, as the plan commission is aware, um, the town is in the process of drafting a unified development ordinance, and at the last meeting there was a discussion about how to prevent problems in the future with storage units being rented out as retail space. So there were some suggestions that we discussed at the last meeting, and I think what the plan commission might want to think about is do you want to continue to do things the way that you've been doing where you, just, where you require a petitioner to come before you for the development plan, or do you want to also require them to go to the Board of Zoning Appeals first and require a special exception for storage units. The purpose of that would be to allow the BZA to, um, if they granted the petition, they could condition it on certain requirements being met. 
because the Board of Zoning Appeals has a little more leeway than does the Plan Commission on certain issues. So if that were the Plan Commission's wish, then any time a petitioner wanted a storage unit, they would go to the BZA first, and only if they got the approval would they then come back before the Plan Commission for approval of their development plan. But that would be one way of ensuring that this type of issue doesn't happen in the future. It's just food for thought. I'm not saying you have to do it that way, but I put a question out on the municipal lawyers listserv and asked if anyone else had had a similar issue, and uh, more than a couple of attorneys wrote in to say, have them go before the BZA first. Well, the BZA, let me ask this question. If I'm not mistaken, the BZA has the authority to say either or, and then the Planning Commission or the Town Council cannot back it, back it up and say, no, we don't want it. Am it, I correct? Well, if it's allowed in a certain area by special exception only, then the applicant would have to petition the BZA first and right. prove that they're entitled to the special exception. And then the town council would have no... Um, no power on it. No, because it's not treated like a rezone. It's not something that the town council would have to approve. Well, how about the, the, the planning commission? Would they have any authority on that? Your authority comes from when the petitioner's application comes before you for approval of the development plan. So you have control in that sense, but they would have to, the petitioner would have to go to the BZA first. But you, we, the planning commission can't overturn the part that the BZA approved. Yes, we could only... Right, if that's your question, the planning commission could not overrule the BZA if the BZA decided to grant the petition. Right. But you could make sure that the petitioner follows the zoning codes and the building codes and the development plan codes and all that sort of thing. happen again. Maybe I'm overthinking it. I don't know. But. Well, if it happens once, it can happen again. Well, some people on the listserv did write in to say that they've had that problem. I didn't get the idea it was a huge problem, but I get the idea that it has happened. So. How many members are on the BZA? Five. Yeah. Uh, Dave and Pat are your plan commission members on the BZA. I am? Mm-hmm. When I had a vacancy, you volunteered. I did? Yeah. It they just didn't so, meet this year. I was going to say, it meets so often, I guess I forgot. <laughs> we just forgot to tell you. <laughs> well, I feel as long as those two are representing the planning commission, I have no problem with that. But... I was just afraid. I know the BZA in the past has had trouble keeping members because they don't meet that often, where there would only be three members present and they wouldn't know anything, the members, so. Well, depending on how the Unified Development Code shakes out, there may be a necessity for more frequent BZA meetings. Mm -hmm. So is this something that we need to give our consensus on now so it can get added into the um, UDO discussions? Now or um, at any time, uh, if you want to give us comments, I, I can take those back to Sean Dade, who's the one who's spearheading the um, drafting of the UDO, or I can forward to you Mr. Dade's information, and you can, if you don't want to run the comments through me or Denise, you can email him directly. Well, I've, I've been at those meetings, so. What's your preference, Denise? Do you have one? Yes. I'd like for it to go through the BZA first, just because I know the trouble I had with the last one. So it could go to the BZA and then not come here, correct? Correct. If the, BZA, if the Board of Zoning Appeals denies the special exception, the project doesn't go forward. I've asked Mr. Day to, or suggested that it, it be in the code as a section that would allow the planning director to deny, not deny an application, but refuse to accept an application, a filing fee from someone who has pending violations. 
and I had thought actually that there was a section like that in our code or in the rules of procedure, but I, if it's there, I can't find it. So that was my imagination that it's there, but I think that would be helpful for her to have that language in the code. Okay. Is that something we want to pursue? I, I mean, I, I'm fine with it. Yeah, I feel too that I'm okay either way, but as long as the Planning Commission does have, you know, a presence on the BZA, then I'm happy with that too. So you're, you, you're much more eloquent in explaining it. So if you wouldn't mind it, let him know. And then it come back to us for a vote. Well, you'll see a copy of the Unified Development Ordinance um, before, yeah, I mean, you, you'll see it before the public will, and then there's going to be public hearings on it. So it's going to be one big project, sort of, so. All those meetings, so. Yep. What about the rest of you guys? How do you feel? It sounds to me like an added layer of protection, right? Because it comes to us anyway. After it will go to them. So if the BZA approves it, as Darla said, then you would review the development plan and approve it or not. Well, because it stops us another meeting. Because just like what happened here adding another meeting or two, which this way if it goes to the BZA first, it's either cut or dry, yes or no. So it don't go to the Planning Commission and we don't know what's going on, per se, like uh, what happened this past one. Well, as Darla mentioned, the BZA has a little bit more leeway than we do, whereas we're, we're restricted to approving it if it meets the conditions, whereas they have a little bit more leeway to deny something if it's not appropriate, or if they don't feel it's appropriate. Okay, I think, I think we're in agreement. We have no new business. Planning department update. The years December uh, 7th. A date which will live in infamy. Yes. And I'll have uh, one case. I may have two if they can get it in tomorrow, but they didn't think so. So probably just one. And uh, it's a certain member of the Plan Commission's last meeting next month. Who's that? Sandy's oh. retiring. You guys were looking at me, I thought. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was wishful thinking. <laughs> oh, thought you wanted me to say, okay, I'm done. <laughs> yes, we're going to miss Sandy. The question is, is she going to miss us? Probably not. <laughs> She'll, have She'll have her Thursday nights back again. She's going to run out of here kicking up her heels. Yeah. You'll call her and she'll say, David, who? <laughs> okay, privilege of the floor. Did anyone in our audience want to speak on something that we didn't have on our agenda tonight? Everybody looks at John. Don't everybody <laughs> rush. Don't everybody rush at once. Any plan commission comments? Seeing none, we're adjourned. <laughs>